The battle blimp can be used to transport troops directly into the core of the base, immediately taking out the town hall, the clan castle, the queen, or other valuable defenses. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how this technique works and why it's so powerful. But hey, what's up guys, Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Welcome to this video focusing on the Battle Blimp, specifically at Town Hall 10 where it perhaps is strongest. You can see in these attacks, we're looking at this one technique that I uh, stumbled across just doing some experimenting with this uh, new siege machine. Be sure to check out my video on the wall wrecker for Town Hall 10, how to use the ground siege machine, but we're focusing all on the air version, it's called the Battle Blimp, and if you put some level 7 Valkyries, that's the max level Valk, uh, in the Battle Blimp, you can go straight to the core and have it take out uh, the Queen, the CC troops, get some great value from it. Uh, keep in mind you cannot drop hastes or rages on the Battle Blimp itself, you can only use spells on the troops that come out of it, so I recommend putting four Valks in the uh, Battle Blimp, and as long as you send them in from the opposite side of the Town Hall, it'll start cutting straight across the base, and it has enough hit points typically to make it to the core. Now, if there's gonna be single Infernos, if there's gonna be air defenses, that can complicate things, but if you get a good base like this one, where you don't have to deal with the Infernos or the air defenses right away, oftentimes the blimp can make it to the core and you can see it can take out a lot of great value. We talk about using the skeletons in the uh, the skeleton spells in the core. It's like the skelly donut technique. This is almost a cheaper way to do it because you just use your clan castle and a rage spell basically and you can get a lot of value uh, then you use basically all your troops and most of your spells around the rest of the base to finish it off. Um, the freeze spell also works nicely if there's a bunch of defenses you want to freeze. And those level 7 Valks, even though you can only bring 4 of them, can do some serious work inside the core of the base. Now so far we haven't seen that with CC troops, we'll change it up in just a moment because defensive CC troops can make this a little bit harder to do. Once again, here comes the battle blimp, dropping bombs as it goes. Um, if there's a baby dragon CC, like a wizard, a witch, they can take it out a little quicker. Didn't even use the rage there. You can see you got pretty much no value. So it works best when you have um, any clan castle that's not the baby dragon, wizard, witch combination. So a lava hound, um, a big dragon, as long as you poison it correctly, um, they don't do much against the battle blimp. Once again, we will freeze and rage. Um, the level seven freeze, you can get donated to you if you have someone who has like a level four or five freeze and you have the uh, clan perk, you can get a higher level freeze and freeze the CC troops to prevent them from taking out your Valks too quickly. But this is gonna possibly be a great way to get some value um, and to clear out the core of the base, maybe air sweepers, the queen, uh, get the CC lured, and then from there you can maybe do suicide heroes and use La Lune on the rest of the base. So we went ahead and poisoned and froze the CC, got the queen almost taken out. Sometimes freezing the queen's not a good thing because she won't aggro the Valks if she's frozen, so the Valks might not end up targeting her. Um, so keep that in mind. Sometimes it's just best to poison her along with the CC. So let's see if we can get it right here. We will send in the battle blimp, get the poison down nice and early, and then just rage up the uh, battle blimp. You can see they don't quite make it to the core, but those Valks cut through that wall so quickly. Um, they go in there and they almost get the queen taken out. Uh, there's a lot of damage there. But against the right base, this can definitely work. Like I said, you gotta make sure the town hall's on the opposite side from where you deploy, so it cuts across the middle, and preferably, um, there's no single infernos. The air defenses aren't a huge issue, because this battle blimp has a ton of uh, hit points, so keep that in mind. Out comes the Electro Dragon, which actually doesn't do much on defense against these Valks. The Valks are going to clear out the entire core, so as long as the CC is not too rough and there's not too many defenses to take out the Battle Blimp and you can make it to the core, just drop the Rage, let those level, level 7 Valks go to work, then pick your poison, uh, no pun intended, for the rest of the base in terms of how you want to finish it off, but this can get you a nice leg up on the base. Um, but anyway, that'll do it. A uh, quick video for you guys. Just want to show the power of this uh, technique. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And next time you guys hear from me will probably be the live stream of the CWL Invite semifinals, One Hive Genesis versus Dark Looter Z. Hope you guys are excited. See you Sunday afternoon, at least afternoon for me. 
So anyway, until then, see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.